Hey guys, welcome to another vlog. Excuse the lovely attire, but I've just been to the gym this morning. So it's been a very long time since I've done a vlog, but I really want to get back into it. This is the first week that my husband had started, I want to say FIFO, because everyone knows what that is, but it's actually Dido, because he drives away, but you get what I mean. So he's going to be away for all of this week, and then once we get into a rhythm, it'll be about eight days away, five days home. So I just want to document this first week, what we get up to, how we cope with not having him here at all. So it is about 12.30 on a Monday. I've already been to the gym, done the groceries. Um, then I had a coffee with a girlfriend. I haven't had any brekkie yet. So Luke has just gone down for a nap, thank God. He fell asleep at the gym randomly at the crash. So I was like, no, that's my nap time. But luckily he's gone back down. So whilst he naps, I'm gonna make some food, put the groceries away and then, and then hopefully have a little time to do some editing before he wakes up. Someone woke up, so I'm hopeful he's gonna just sit on this little step while I have a shower. What do you reckon my chances are? All right, so obviously working during nap time is not a thing today, but that's all right. I like to use Mondays mostly as a home day anyway, so I've got groceries to put away, washing to do, toys to put away, mess to clean up. Are you gonna help? I like you got your helmet on for safety gear. about seven-ish, the baby's just gone down to bed, the other two are having a bit of quiet time and then I'll be putting them to bed. It feels like it's been a big day. I haven't really done much other than look after children, but that's okay. I'm kind of just focusing on that's my job right now. Tomorrow's gonna be very different. Tuesdays are my work day, so all three kids are in care. Well, obviously my eldest is at school, but the other two are at kindy and then Luca now goes to a family daycare, which is great, it means I have six hours basically to work but also it means that from the moment my feet hit the ground in the morning it's like get this one here this one here this one here and then be back in time to pick everyone up and then we have football training and so we won't get home till about 5 36 it makes for a very big day so i'm feeling a little bit already overwhelmed <laughs> about tomorrow even though yeah in the middle of the day it's great because i have such uninterrupted time to myself hey gala Successful drop off. I got two out of three dropped off. Eamon ended up coming home with me because he's not feeling well, so he's snuggled up on the couch with a bucket in case he is sick. I'm still hoping to get some work done. Luckily, he doesn't really need me to be there. Um, he's not been sick, he just has a really sore tummy. And Andrew and Rory were sick last week, so I didn't want to send him to school in case he did vomit. Luca, who has gone off to daycare so well the last three weeks, 
today of all days, decided that nope, he was going to be a little bit clingy. I just think, of course, today is the day that it doesn't go well the first week that Andrew was away. But I guess this just makes me think, I wonder how much they actually just pick up from us because I feel like with Eamon, when I was dropping him as a baby, I was quite anxious and he was quite anxious about the drop off. And the last couple of weeks, I probably haven't been as anxious. And then today, I think just because I was doing all three by myself, I was feeling a little bit like, <gasps> I'm gonna do a little bit of planning for some videos that I need to film this morning and then I'm gonna get straight into it. Oh, and I'm having breakfast because I didn't get a chance to have breakfast before I left this morning. o'clock now. Luke has actually just gone down to sleep. He must have had a massive day at daycare today. The other two are just watching something while dinner cooks. I'm just going to give this yoga room down here a quick sweep because I've got a class tomorrow morning. I just try to make the morning as stress-free as possible. So I'm already in PJs. I feel exhausted from the day just looking at a computer all day and even filming as well. It takes a lot of energy so I'm pretty keen for an early bedtime tonight and that'll be it for today. See you tomorrow. Pretty much all ready in here. Let's play. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So it is now Wednesday, and I'm just downstairs here getting set up because I've got Mums and Bubs yoga this morning. If you want to know more about my Mums and Bubs yoga studio? I will link another video down below. I'm pretty sure that one was published before this one. Um, yeah, so we've got about six or seven mums coming this morning, and they're Bubs. Um, this is my first class with this little guy, so I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I've never taught with a one-year-old before. I did used to teach with Rory, but he was two at the time, so he was a little bit easier to entertain. So I'm feeling a little bit nervous about how this is going to go. It might be <laughs> that I'm teaching the entire class holding him, but that wouldn't be anything new. I always teach holding someone's baby. But anyway, I've got to go drop the big kids at school, and then we'll set up this space ready for class. So that's mums and bubs classes done. He did really well. Like you want to check out the other video where I show you through the yoga space and how we set it up. I'll leave the other link for the video below. It is definitely that time. <laughs> I'll see you later. us at all yesterday or late Wednesday afternoon that's because I ended up sick I had the tummy bug that Rory had last week Rory ended up sick as well so after I'll open it a second <laughs> after Wednesday night being really sick yesterday I just literally laid on the couch all day so because that's not very he's really happy so because it's not very interesting to watch yeah, you didn't see any of that. This morning we've got book fair at school, so Eamon's all dressed up. What's this? So Eamon's all dressed up, ready to go, and we're gonna go and watch the parade. Time to go? 
Yes. Grab your pants. It's about four o'clock now. I am exhausted. I think I'm gonna sign off this vlog. And fingers crossed Andrew isn't home too late tonight because I'm so tired. <laughs> Have a great weekend. See ya.